I sincerely love what Pastor Eden just said about the oncoming election. I mean, he is not the only pastor who is speaking out in the Nigeria of today for a change, you know. And um, he said that the voting, that voting a credible candidate this time is, you know, voting Nigeria out of the devil that has bedeviled us for the past eight years. He made a mistake, actually. It's not eight years, dear Pastor Enencha. Is a, the devil that has bedeviled Nigeria since the beginning of this nation called Nigeria. Yes, it is not eight years. Nigerians, Nigeria and Nigerians have been living with this devil since the formation of this nation. And the devils we are talking about are our politicians, the wicked politicians. They are responsible for every problem we have in this country. Watch this video and I shall come back to say what I want to say. Lastly, concerning the 2023 election, as a renowned man of God, the members of the public want to hear what you have to say, a voice of hope, and at least to tell them something. To give them 2023 election is an opportunity to change the situation of this country. 2023 election is the opportunity to move away and depart from the evils, the wickedness, the darkness that bedeviled our nation for the last seven to eight years. 2023 election is, a, is an opportunity to choose whether we want banditry to continue, kidnapping to continue, whether we want terrorism to continue, underdevelopment to continue, massive corruption to continue, nepotism, planistic operations, re regionalism, and all these kind of uh, things to continue, or whether we want a complete total departure. When we see the candidates that are presented for presidential election, it is very, very clear. We are having choices between people that have the issues that we know and people that have record that are clean and untainted. It is a choice to make and it is very, very clear. It is the choice between corruption and incorruption. It is the choice between light and darkness. It is the choice between progress and retrogression. It is the choice between the old order and a new order. If we choose the old order, the old way of doing things, if we choose expired, retired people who should be resting and choose them back, it means we are ready to continue in the adversity and the calamity. But if we choose people with proven results, proven credibility, proven integrity, if we choose people with proven track records, with a heart for the people that emerge right now, then we have the opportunity to change things. So I want everybody to rise. Ensure you get your PVC, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not advising that too late. Ensure you inform all your brothers, sisters, to the grassroots in the village. Tell them who to vote. Tell them how to vote. Show them the logos to vote for a, for a change in our, in our nation in this season. And by the message of God, I believe that change is here. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The politicians are responsible for all the crises and calamities you see in Nigeria. As Nigerians are queued up on the, uh, the gas stations, uh, Nigerians are queued up in the bank waiting to collect money. Did you see any politician driving to any of those gas stations or driving to any of those banks coming to take money? It is not true. You can never see any of them. They are responsible for your problem. If you are working for a politician and you are simply obeying his order because he's paying you money, God will judge you. You are not doing Nigeria good. You are not doing your unborn children good. As you hear my voice, have a change of heart. As you are enjoying with the money politicians pay you, think about other poor Nigerians on the street of Lagos. Think about other poor Nigeria on the street of Anambra State. Think about other poor Nigeria on the street of Kanu. Have pity on Nigerians. Menu no Nigeria Bele. Go and get your PVC if you have not gotten it. Saturday, next Saturday is election. Don't forget. Come out and vote.